Hey guys, uh, today uh, I wanted to make a video about, uh, I'm actually making a couple videos, but today this video is about uh, the Nintendo DS emulator, which is my no-cache GBA right here. Um, it's very easy to use, you just have to kind of get the hang of it. When you open it up, um, it's going to bring this up, and what this is, it's, it's telling you to put a game in. So, instead of turning on the DS and seeing like the Picto chat and the calendar and whatever menu you get there, um, you get this. You're going to pick uh, a game to play. Um, for this, we're going to use Harvest Moon. Uh, I'm a big Harvest Moon fan. So uh, I don't remember what my controls are, so I'm not exactly going to play. But the point is, this game is all about the save types. Um, for what, and see, as you can see, I can't continue. Uh, I do have a game on here. And the way that you access that is you go Options right here. And then you're going to click Emulation Setup. Or if you want to do it the quick way, you can just press F11 and it'll open it up. You're going to find NDS Cartridge Backup Media. See this right here? This is what you're going to find. And you're going to look in here for a different save type. Now, every game that you uh, get from a game store comes with a certain save type, which is a certain way that the game saves files on the, on the cartridge. Now, it's kind of like uh, when you save a uh, picture or something as a JPG as opposed to a uh, BMP or a uh, different kind of file type. So all it is is file types. So you're going to look in here and you can switch to any one of these. Um, 0 0.5 is not commonly used. It's usually EEPROM 64K bytes or it's Flash 512. So I'm going to switch to Flash 512. And then I'm going to reset my cartridge. And it's going to reset the game. So now as you can see if I can... Why are people IMing me right now? And there we go. So now I can continue my game. So now I can play the game normally. And uh, that's just how the game, it's not, it's only laggy right now because I've got iTunes and my sweep in the background running for viruses and stuff. So it's not normally laggy, it's actually very, very fast. I definitely recommend this emulator. Um, there haven't been any glitches from what I know of, uh, at least with the Harvest Moon game. And um, that's how you guys change file types. And also, if you, if you go to load it, like here, I'll show you guys something. Uh, if you go to load it, Say I wanted to switch back to 64K because I'm playing a different game, right? It's not going to do anything. You, if you save like this, you will corrupt your data. So do not change it if you're not going to change games. Um, and if you are going to change games, make sure you save first. Also, uh, to actually get it into effect, you have to reset your cartridge. So if I'm going to that, like say I wanted this, right? And I wanted to be like, um, I wanted to switch to it without resetting the game. You can't do that. Because see how it says new game, right? Well, if I wanted to go and change and... Uh, go back to the Flash 512 and see how it's not in there. So you have to actually reset the cartridge or close it and open it back up, reset it quicker. And then it'll actually reset the game and bring it back with the new save type. So as you can see, now I can play the game again. Um, there is a site out there, I cannot remember the name of it, totally escapes me. It tells you all of the save types. So all you have to do is search the game and then it's like, okay, well this game plays on EEPROM 64K or something like that. There is a site out there like that. Someone can tell me, message me, and then I'll put it in the description. Um, anyway, that's it for today. I, I thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope that you are able to be helped by this video. And um, yeah, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.